Nardo here with the new CSGO Pro Tricks video. Smash that like button and comment below. Help me get to 50k subscribers by pressing that lovely sub button. Without further ado, let's begin. Device is going to go for a mid peek from connector. Before he peeks mid, he is going to throw a smoke inside this corner. What this smoke does is it puts out any mollies thrown from the T's to allow him to hold his position, which is going to work out as he's going to pick a T crossing here. Shushan throws a one-way Molotov inside window, ducked next to the bench, aims there, and then left click throw. And then from there, you can peek behind the molly, making it harder for you to be spotted. Want to go for a run, dude? We can go for a run. Okay, but what are you doing with that knife? What do you mean? Everyone knows you run faster with a knife. Thanks to Knifey for sponsoring the video. They offer exact replicas of CSGO knives that are super high quality and affordable. Knifey provides a lot of variety in different types of knives and skins. You can get them customized with a name tag and stat track. Knifey provides international shipping and fast delivery. Get your order in for the perfect Christmas holiday gift for your teammates, friends, or yourself. Use code NART for 10% off using the link below. Thanks, Knifey! Jacob has a bottom connector one-way smoke duck behind the left doorway, aims here, then left click throw, however in this round he's not going to use it. This smoke gives you a one-way smoke on both sides of connector and I'm going to show it here in a bit. In this round you're going to see he throws the same smoke, however the T's molly messes it up, however he still has a gap to work with and gets a frag off of it. It's highly recommended that you throw this smoke before the T's molly connector. Here's what the smoke would have looked like had Jacob actually used it. So aim in the same position while duck, left click throw, get on this ledge here, you can see all of top mid with a gap here. And then on the other side, you can see underpass with a one-way smoke as well. And then from the T's perspective, they see connectors smoked off. It would be really hard to spot any CTs on either side, top mid as well as underpass. Dodo throws a connector one-way smoke ducking in front of this wall here. He's going to aim at this part of the doorway of connector, then left click throw. Afterwards, he walks into connector towards the left behind the box where he has a nice gap to view mid. However, he's not going to spot anybody. And as you can see, it's very hard to spot Dodo. If you're playing inside connector behind this box tucked in looking down, just to let you know that the T's can spot you if they get far enough on catwalk. Walter throws a defensive short one-way smoke. He is going to stay in the corner, aim top of the A, then left click throw. He mollies underpass and then he gets on top of the sign where you can see over the smoke towards mid. However, he's not going to be able to spot anyone as no one from outsiders is mid. JL from Dark is going to hit an insane wallbang onto this Dark player here who was about to molly. So it was very good timing from JL to do so. Spargo throws both right side smokes from the trash can. First is the cross smoke where he's going to duck to get the lineup. Then he's going to stand afterwards and run through a bind. After he smokes stairs by aiming between these windows, then walks a couple steps forward and jump throw. In this round here, Havu uses these smokes as an A fake rush while they group up B. Synapse is going to smoke jungle from top mid. He ducks on this part of the shadow, then stands up, aims at this part of the light, then jump throw. Afterwards, he's going to flash his teammates out connector. B and E have an execute on B where they molly the balcony and they use this molly to land a smoke that gives them cover to get out towards van. Let's see how these utility are thrown. After throwing the B apartment lurk smoke, Synapse is just going to throw a molly towards the balcony and then once the smoke lands, he comes out with the flashes towards van. One Flatro will be smoking the balcony. He is going to be standing next to these bags. He's going to aim to the top right of this building here, then jump throw. Center smokes market door standing next to the trash bags. He's going to aim at this part of the window on this wall, then jump throw. Firebox is a very annoying position to deal with as the T's. One way to deal with it is first by spamming the box. Then you're going to see center here jump on top of the balcony, which you can see the CT. This can be useful if you don't have anybody coming out palace. Woody resmokes window on the fly here. And the problem with this sometimes is that sometimes it leaves a gap which automatic checks to see if it does and he gets a one way and gets a frag off of it. Aurora is going to throw two A smokes from underpass. First, she's going to smoke CT. You're going to get stuck in the left doorway, stand, aim at this tip here, then jump throw. He gets a smoke from his teammate, stands in the opposite doorway, gets stuck into that wall, smokes jungle by aiming at this part of the wall, then jump throw. The CT smoke is unique in that it's going to land a little bit farther than the normal CT smoke, as you can see here. It's not going to leave any gaps in the smoke. You just have to worry about the CT jumping on top of the ticket. 
If you're smoked out palace and you want to molly dark, stand in this corner and you're going to aim bottom right of this light. Without moving your mouse, you're going to strafe over to the corner and then simply left click throw. This trick here was sent in from a viewer. If you want to be featured in my video and share your tricks, please join my discord link is below in the description. Skulls is going to rush up banana and as he does so, he throws a molly towards the corner of car that's not going to touch him. And this molly is going to make the CTs think that car is mollied off. They use the sound cue and they rush up and catch the CTs off guard. Vinny has an easy lineup to nade coffins from top logs. She's gonna stand right there, aim at the shadow, then run forward and jump throw. Try this play next time you're playing Inferno. Molly car and then go ahead and throw a smoke off half wall. Then have a teammate boost you on top of logs, which Grim gets boosted. He's able to see over smoke. He gets an easy frag of the bolts. Zaiwoo is going to smoke mid banana. He is going to stand in front of the barrel, aims here, then jump throw. The smoke bounces off the top of the half wall and bounces back towards where it lands mid banana in front of the logs. It does leave a gap here towards the right where you can peek around it as well. Taps in BXQ Nate set from top car. He will smoke coffins, molly oranges, and flash behind second oranges. His molly does miss because he aimed too high. This Nate set is very efficient if you can learn it because you're throwing three important utility. The coffin smoke the molly that covers both oranges and then a flash for b site that only blinds the cts i tried out his nade set in a private server i'm not sure how he positions but this is the way i found that it's gonna work you will want to align yourself until this railing is gone from your screen it is the one after the flower then with the smoke aim below this mark on the wall then jump throw for the molly aim here while standing jump throw i got too frustrated learning this nade set that i forgot to show the flash which you can see from Tapson's POV. Snappy is going to execute B with these nades here from top of the half wall. He is going to duck at the corner. While duck, he is going to smoke CT by aiming here, then jump throw. Afterwards, he stands up and he's going to molly dark aiming between the leaves and then left click throw. Then he's going to flash B by aiming here with the tip of his flash above these marks and left click throw. AK smokes coffins where he's ducked between these logs here and while duck aims here and then jump throw. Ents are going to retake banana and they're going to take banana control after aggro throw their nades. So Snappy is going to flash his teammate to take top car control. Then he's going to molly half wall by aiming here, jump throw. Then he smokes bottom banana by aiming here, then jump throw. Meanwhile, his teammate is going to molly broom and then nade towards logs. And now Ents have banana control. Ents have a setup on banana when they have control where Madden is going to jump spot banana and then Snappy is going to be hiding sandbags. So when Madden makes contact, he's going to fall back, underhand a smoke, and then he's going to go towards the left of the smoke. So the smoke makes it look like Snappy isn't there. So they don't go check for Snappy. Snappy actually swings out, gets one frag. Madden comes around the corner, gets two. Easy way to molly triple when retaking when CT smoked off, stand at tree, aim below the roof, walk forward and left click throw. Bolts throws half wall retake nades. He's going to stand behind orange here and jump throw at that bolt. Then he ducks and aims at this bolt here and then jump throw. Be careful using this nade set here as you're going to see the molly doesn't fully cover it towards the car wall. Sango will boost inside apartments with Fuzi on top with an op holding these stairs while QB is on bottom washing window. Fuzi is going to pick off JDC. This is definitely an angle that you're not clearing as you're coming around this corner. Movistar riders have an apartment CT setup where the rifler is going to stand behind the opper. Rifler is watching the right side while the opper is watching the left. This is going to cause the T, whoever's peeking down apartments, into a double peak. A very common team that runs this setup is Heroic. Vitalik with a double boiler setup here where Dupree is in the corner and then Zaiwu with an op is going to hold the window from the doorway, gets a frag and then falls back. Have you ever seen an opper play from this position here from Rops? Well, Acor gets boosted and he plays Rops with an op and he's going to get the opening frag. Dart's going to flash mid and T-stairs at the beginning of the round for his teammate to peek down with an op. He positions and stands as shown. Turns around, aims here, runs forward, and jump throw. Unfortunately, we're not going to see the flash blind any of the T's here. Snatchy from the other side is going to peek off the flash and peeks down T-stairs with the op. 
Mid is smoked off and Colts Air is going to Molly Boiler by jumping to see this thing here on the wall then runs forward and left click throw. I'm going to show you where he's aiming at. Essentially he was looking for this thing on the wall. Essentially you're going to aim below it then run forward and left click throw. Here's another way to Molly triple for retake from back hall. You're going to stand at the line on the door. You see this mark here? While standing you're going to aim here and then you're going to run forward and jump throw. Some of these clips that you're going to see in my video are from viewers and if you want to be featured in my video or if you want to share your tricks, join my discord, link is below in the description. When retaking A, if you want to molly out pit, you're going to stand at this part of the wall and you're going to aim in the middle of this square here, then simply jump throw. If you want to retake it back hall for post plant, you can smoke it off by ducking behind the dark pillar. You're going to aim top left of this brick, then jump throw, and then afterwards stand up where you're going to flash back hall where you aim above this wire, and then left click throw. The flash will cover a lot of positions inside back hall, and then the smoke smokes off the entrance. Here's a cool defensive one way smoke thrown from this back corner while standing. You're going to aim to the right of this roof of this building, then left click throw. This smoke is going to give you a one way to peek towards the B entrance when the T's are coming in from banana. And then from the T's perspective, they're not going to be able to spot you. To smoke the mid half wall next to boiler, you're going to stand next to the APC. You're going to aim as shown, then walk two steps forward and jump throw. So what you're going to do with this smoke is that it's going to land on top of the half wall and it's going to block off any T Molotov towards apartment at the start of the round. This smoke will allow your teammates to push into window to peak second mid without taking damage. Here's how to throw a deeper bracket control smoke. You're going to duck in front of the broom in front of the circle there and then you're going to aim bottom left of this triangle then jump throw. A couple of teams in the past have used some type of variation of this smoke endpoint and then team liquid if you do plan on using this smoke you do want to pair it up with a molotov that lands right here and then be careful when you come around the corner as the cts can play on top of this pallet to see over the smoke here's a lineup to smoke coffins from outside of stairs you're going to stand next to the moped do you see this mark on the wall put your crosshair onto the mark and then without moving your mouse you're going to strafe all the way here towards the left of this wall and right before you hit the logs you're going to jump throw as you're running forward. You could use the smoke to rush B when you're retaking banana but it's very risky being exposed running with a smoke like that. Here is an apartment control nade set made from Vu. So you're going to stand in front of this wall and you're going to molly boiler by aiming here then run forward and jump throw right before you hit the door on the left wall here. Then you're going to flash long haul by aiming here, run forward and jump throw. Here's a nice banana flash you can throw from corner, aim here and then left click throw while standing. This flash covers a lot of positions in banana, so it's going to cover broom and logs and then it's not going to flash your teammates as they run down. Here's a clip of a flash being used in a pug and you're going to see the two T's get totally blind, allowing the CT two free frags. Here is how to silent drop from top half wall on banana. You're going to position with this mark on the top of the half wall. Then you're going to aim here. Then you're going to shift W and jump. Then when you hit the wall, release W and press D. I'm just going to let this clip play out in normal time and speed. There's a keybind script that allows you to drop all your utility by pressing one button. I'm going to put it in the description box below. So you save much time just pressing that one button instead of cycling through all your nades. So this is one example on Inferno how to do so by having your rotator come over or an A player to drop nades for your B player. And then here's an example of overpass where you throw all your utility over the wall and stack A while you have one solo B with nades. Triple two-way smoke thrown from coffins, but the lineup, you're going to stand at this wall and then you're going to aim above this thing here. And then without moving your mouse, strafe all the way till you get stuck on the coffins and then left click throw. This smoke is going to land inside of triple and then you have a two-way smoke, meaning two one-way smokes towards the left there and then towards the boost. 
Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to Nard Out Here for more content like this. Have you ever had a problem with dropping a smoke and it rolls away and sometimes even under the map? Well, Device has a solution for this. He has a lineup to drop the smoke so it doesn't roll under the fence. Shout out to Nato for showing me this. Device is going to crouch onto the tip of his fence on the ground. Then he stands up, aims at the line on this pole, then presses his drop key. The smoke drops perfectly next to the wall. So let's see it in play here as Astralis will be using a smoke wall with Device throwing two smokes. The first smoke while standing aims here, then presses his run throw bind. After throwing his first smoke, the smoke that he dropped originally is going to be automatically picked up. Then without moving, after pressing his run throw bind, he puts his crosser here, jump throw. Glaive is going to throw the middle smoke, and his position doesn't really matter as this middle smoke is pretty forgiving. He will throw it off the T red, aiming above the building with the blue logo, runs forward and left click throw. Here's another way to drop the same smoke for the same position, credit to Ragin. You're going to crouch onto this part of the line here until you get the full animation, then drop your smoke. Here's another position to drop your smoke. You're going to position with the back tire, aim to the left of this door here, then press your drop key. Woody is going to throw the two smokes from main to credit card. He is going to stand with this pole. For the main smoke, he aims here, jump throw, picks up the smoke, and then stands in the same position. And then for the farther smoke, he aims here, walks two steps forward, and jump throw. And then his teammate is going to throw the garage smoke, which I'm going to show now. VSM aligns with this pole while standing, aims here, then jump throw. Big have a CT setup where they're going to flush out the lurker behind main. Tavson stands with the arrow, aims at this part of credit card, then presses his run throw bind. The Molly is going to push out the Lurker, and then Big will also follow up with a Flash to make sure that Lurker is blind. Crimbo the Ramp player will come and throw the Flash from outside Hell. He aims to left the credit card, runs forward, and jump throw. This credit card boost has been common in pro play with teams having a save rifle. So Tabson gets boosted and he shifts between watching the top of the silo over there as well as outside, and he catches Refresh. Zero Zero Nation are going to go for the triple boost on T Roof off this yellow railing here. They're going to boost Tri with an AWP. So when he gets boosted all the way up top, he's able to see through the windows here towards the Heaven and Rafters. However, won't be able to spot anybody. Tri is going to post up on ramp while his teammate opens the double door and he gets the pick onto Zevi. Great teamwork from Zero Zero Nation. Scout Gang do a party boost where they get a player on top of the front toilet building. You can see over your smoke towards Fountain, otherwise you don't really get any advantage seeing over anything. This boost will work as an off angle and is strong if the T's don't flash you as they won't expect you up here and they won't clear this position. Have your teammate watch connector while you are up in this boost. I have not verified if this boost is a pixel boost or not and if it's legal in official so please make sure you check with your organizers. If you do know if this is a pixel let me know in the comments. There's a boost towards the water cubby here that requires three players. First you're going to boost a player onto this window ledge and then the other player is going to get boosted on top of the window ledge player and as you can see you can see more of the site compared to your standard two player boost. Are you aware that there's a gap in this top box of default that you could spot CT? It's this line shown here. You'll hold W onto the wood and it's going to allow you to move up and then you can strafe to the left without falling off where you can take advantage of the gap to spot CT. The CTs won't be able to spot you and you'll want your teammate watching heaven. Here's a clip of this trick being used in a face of pug. Disco. Uh... Dead pixel one. Just hold heaven. Uh, hell. ABC. Hold my range. ABC. CT one. one. Yep. Out. In the middle. Dead. Heaven last. Dead. Nice. Hold my range. ABC. CT one. one. Yep. Out. In the middle. Dead. Heaven last. Dead. Nice. Twist has a nade for the T spammer for the short wall. However, his nade's not going to connect as the T is spamming from the top of the stairs, not mid stairs. Robs has this flash for outside monster for his teammates to push through the monster smoke. He stands there and then aims here at the bridge, runs forward and jump throw. Fortunately, the T that was playing outside monster was playing anti-flash. Robs throws two B smokes. The first one is the deep bridge smoke standing behind the trash can, aiming here, then jump throw. Afterwards, he gets close to the wall to smoke heaven, puts his crosshair like this, 
and then without moving his mouse runs forward until he hits the second half of the shadow and then jump throw as he leaves it. Faith will rush monster using these two smokes. Yuri throws a supportive one-way smoke behind the sandbags for Keiserato who's at window. We're not going to see the full extent of this smoke being used, but here is what it looks like from the opposing side. Here's what the smoke is going to look like had Keiserato had the smoke down earlier. You could also throw it for yourself if you like. Big are taking B and Drop's going to throw this defensive nade set as he rotates in. He throws a one-way smoke that lands front generator and then he throws a Molotov off the wall for sight. Had Big threw a right gen smoke, this smoke allows you to get in front of that smoke. Stair is going to throw a defensive ramp yellow one-way smoke. So you're going to see that he's going to use a smoke to get cover to push into yellow. And the smoke extends into yellow giving him a one-way to play around. So he's going to be able to catch Patsy off guard as he peeks around and Patsy's not going to be able to spot him. Here's a better look at what the smoke looks like without the CT's bottom yellow smoke. You're going to see here the smoke comes out towards ramp and then extends into yellow giving you a one way. SSTAC throws a stairs one way smoke. He's going to use the top up double to align with the one on the wall. Then aims here above white and then left click throw. He's going to have a gap towards the left here near wood. However, he's not going to spot anybody. Nafmi is going to advance up into sight with the right generator smoke up and he pushes on top of the board where he jumps on top of it and he's going to catch the CTs by surprise. We're going to see Madden make the same play as Nafni with the right generator smoke up. He pushes up to the right wall, gets on top of the board. He's able to see over the smoke and acts as a one way. Robs with the mid flash with this position in T mid. He is going to align with the top of the ceiling here and then he aims here and then left and right click jump throw. Dumao has a mid flash from T mid where he's gonna stand in this corner, aim here and then left and right click throw. This flash will blind anyone in CT holding from that corner. Center has a set lineup for a B main aid. First he's going to flash stairs and then jump spot to see if anybody's pushing through. Then he ducks there and then he's going to stand up and aim below the A then jump throw. This nade did 40 damage to cold. Crimbo crouched behind the mid sandbag is going to use this gap between the box and sandbag to catch out Art. You're going to see here Art is not expecting him to be there. Madden uses the same angle. You're going to see once he gets the first frag, he switches his angle by standing up and playing behind the sandbag here. Spart are going to do the short boost on top of Orange towards Ivy. And while they do this, Stair has a smoke and he's going to throw it off the wall here that buys them time. This sets up Stair for the frag. A simple and effective eco play on the CT side is to throw a ramp smoke and then flash your teammates through the smoke, which Heroic does here, netting them up with the frag. Here's a one-way molly for window. You're going to aim at this part of the line inside these four little things here, then left click throw. Afterwards, you're going to peek behind the molly. Don't get too close as you will take damage from the molly. And then from the T perspective, as you can see, you can't spot the model. One way smoke you could throw from inside yellow with this jump throw. Then make your way into ivy. The smoke's going to block off short. And then you're able to get into orange here. And you have a nice huge gap to spot sight, headshot. And then he's going to get two frags off of this. Very nice smoke. If you have IV control, you could throw this smoke where you're tucked in this wall, standing, aim right here, then left click throw. And then you could have a teammate boost you so you can see over the smoke towards sight and headshot. Here's how to silent drop in ladder room. You're going to stand yourself inside the corner, aim here, then walk forward. And right before you hit the floor, press D where you're going to get stuck onto the ladder, which allows you to safely and silently drop down. A teammate in NATO Sapphix's pug is going to throw a one-way smoke behind double and he uses it to get two frags onto the stairs players. Look at NATO's reaction. On stairs one? Whoa, this was an insane smoke he just threw from himself here. Holy shit, man. I never saw this. You know how on Mirage mid window, there's a light that you could check when the window smoked off and the T's boost, the light goes away and then you know they boost the window. The same thing happens here on Vertigo inside yellow. You're able to spot anybody behind yellow that moves forward, which we see in this clip here. The light goes away means there's a player inside yellow. 11 eSport pull off a triple boost in CT spawn that's going to allow the top player to see long. They initially mess up the boost and then they try it again, which the opera picks off the T that was jiggle peeking. The T's not going to expect this triple boost to come in at all, Plus, you can't even spot it behind the plants. 
Valdi throws a mid banana smoke from spawn, he's gonna stand with this bolt, aims at this part of the stair, then run through a bind. Ends will try to get behind the smoke to boost to take advantage of the rifle that they save. However, the T's kept mauling behind the smoke so they couldn't. Here's what the boost would have looked like had they been able to pull it off and you can see towards the door and from the T's perspective, they won't expect the boost. Valde with a very interesting position post plant on B site, he's going to tuck himself into the stairs and he uses it as cover from long and he will peek long here and there to try to catch the CTs off guard which he does onto MHL who won't be able to spot Valde. Valde has used this position a couple of times in previous matches and you'll need to keep short smoked off in order to play here. Diha throws a A lurk smoke, he stands with this line in the wall, aims below this gap in the window, then jump throw. This smoke lands right in front of main and it allows the T's to come out and have this space here, it allows the T's to boost and then it allows them to get up behind the smoke to boost behind the smoke as well. So as our flash is cave for his teammates to re-aggro standing long behind the cubby, he is going to aim here then left click throw, the T's are going to be blinder than a bat setting up his teammates for the two frags. Story is going to get boosted to the peak tempo and you're going to see that Story is going to be able to spot the CT before the CT can spot him and from the CT's POV he can only see Story's feet. Frozen had the instant donut smoke lineup from spawn 5 that I previously shown. The lounge came up with the other 5 spawn lineups which I'm not going to show here. I'll put the video on Nate's out here as well as I'll link his tweet. So go ahead and check those links out below the description. Make sure to join my discord to share your tricks and tips, link is below in the description. Please give the video a like and comment below to help the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel to help me get to 50k subs, I greatly appreciate it. Till next time, Nardout here, peace.